KC2 IRV here again. Uh, right now, uh, I've been working on a little project for field day. Um, and as you can see, you're staring at a couple of solar panels, four of them. And they're 100 watts a piece. And because uh, I'm planning on running a solar station for field day. So I had the panels already. I've been slowly putting together enough panels to uh, create uh, a solar array at my house. But I figured these would work perfect for um, being able to run a solar station. So I've got two uh, polycrystalline panels and two monocrystalline panels. So the polycrystallines are the darker of the two, and they're the larger, the taller, I should say. Um, the monocrystallines are um, shorter and slightly wider. So um, I'm not going to go into the uh, solar panel differences because there's, there's slight operational differences uh, between the two panels, the two types of panel that I have. So, um, but what uh, I just wanted to give a quick overview of what I'm doing. It's fairly simple. Um, I was kind of overthinking it. I was thinking of building a frame and all that other stuff. And I, I began to. I began to build a metal frame. But uh, I kind of decided against it. I figured if I wanted to set this up quick, and kind of the spirit of field day is for emergency communications operation, which may not always have the time to set up a... Uh, you know, a full metal frame and, you know, like an erector set. Decided just to prop them up on uh, pieces of uh, uh, strips of wood that I had. And that's that's all I'm doing is they're propped up on strips of wood. Um, as you can tell, I don't have a whole lot of, you know, light <laughs> coming down right now. I got trees and I'm just setting it up in my driveway. But uh, this is what I got. Um, I've got a marine deep cycle battery. And uh, I actually bought a kit. All these panels are, are uh, from Renergy, by the way. Um, and one of the kits came with a 30 amp solar charge controller, which it's right now charging the battery. Um, and I'm getting, if I, I don't know if I can do this with one hand, I can try. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Might be a challenge. That one there. That one there. About 12.84 volts. That's because the battery is actually loading it down right now. Um, I measured the amperage, and the amperage is about, uh, I'm getting about 2.5, 3 amps right now. Um, but that's not surprising because the panels are in the, uh, are in the shade for the most part. But it is charging the battery, even heavily shaded as it is. So, I, uh, very simple setup. I have a small fuse block. Um, just a couple of fuses in there for the equipment. I actually have a small panel mount uh, LCD display. Turn that on. You can see my voltage output. And then just a ground bus. So... This charge controller is very, very simple, but it works extremely well. Um, simple to use. It's actually got some slightly advanced functions when it comes to timers and stuff like that. But um, for a very simple application like this, it's perfect. So, and this is a, batter, a battery that I uh, sourced from DECA. Actually, I bought it at the local tractor supply. It was like $99. And I measured it. I actually measured it with an ACT battery tester, and it came out to about 120 amp hours. So, for what I'm going to be running, that should be uh, more than adequate for what I'm doing, especially when it comes to uh, the charging of the panels, which they're actually going to be in an open field, so I'll get a lot more charging current out of them. Um, yeah, Renogy, the Renogy panels run about, if you're an Amazon Prime member, uh, $130 a panel, uh, and that's with free shipping. And uh, they're uh, pretty efficient panels, um, reasonably priced, and they work well. 
Uh, the way I got these connected together is I have them all paralleled. These four-way junctions that you can get. Um, and so I have all four panels connected. So, and, uh, and it's been running for a little while, and I've actually seen the voltage go up by a couple tenths of a volt, so the array is doing its job even in even in compromised light conditions. Um, so I should have a lot of fun at field day. Uh, I'm going up with the, uh, the Vermont All-Star Network guys, and uh, we, should have, uh, we should have a grand old time up there in Vermont. So uh, if you guys are working on field day, you know, anyone, anyone listening is working at or working uh, the airwaves on field day, you know, hopefully you can catch us on the air and uh, uh, have a, have a QSO. Uh, that's all for now. Um, still uh, got some other things in the works, and hopefully I'll be making a video or uh, it's more like going to be a series of videos shortly. So once again... KC2IRV at gmail.com. And uh, until next time.